this is our combine. So this is what we use at the end of the year uh, to go out and harvest. Uh, this is a Case IH combine. This would have been built uh, about 15 years ago. Um, and probably about a medium-sized combine now. There's certainly a lot that are bigger. There's others that are smaller. Um, and, and we can take up front here, you'll see what we call our corn head. So this whole front part can come off and we can put a soybean head on here to harvest our soybeans. I said those rows are about 30 inches apart. So we put this down between each of the rows with the row right here. And if that corn plant is standing up real good, then, then it goes right into the combine. If that corn plant is leaning over, then this snout will push it back up and make it stand back up. Now when we're going through the field, these points will be maybe two or three inches off the ground so that they can get under any of those stalks that are leaning over and pull those up so it straightens them up so they go into the combine. Um, we got a couple of corn stalks here. It's wet outside, so we've got to get a If this is a row going into the combine, again, this would be down on the ground. Uh, so it would look about like so, coming in. And what it does is when, when it comes up into this row, this will pull it into the combine and pulls the stalk straight down. When it pulls that stalk straight down, it pops the ear right out of that stalk. And most of the stalk will actually go on the ground. And then you have this ear left that goes into the combine. Now you get some stalks in the combine and some shucks in the combine. But uh, probably you want all the ears and just very little of the other stuff. And it goes inside that combine, gets pushed to the middle, goes up in there, and gets gets circulated in that combine, both rubbing against each other as well as rubbing against the metal parts. And it shells all the kernels off this combine or off this, this cob of corn. And then it keeps the kernels and it kicks out the back, the corn cob that's left here, any of the shucks anything else like that. And it's a pretty amazing machine. It'll do that through these six rows. This is about half, this is half that plan. It'll do that as fast as you can walk. So maybe I combine about three and a half miles an hour. Um, so about as fast as you can walk, it's doing that with six rows. Every plant, there's a, you know, uh, plants, 33,000 plants an acre. So they're, um, you know, eight inches, nine inches apart here. And it is just, corn rows coming in here and shelling corn. Um, and then we there's a tank up on top of that combine. You may be able to see kind of a little window up there. And the grain goes into that tank. Uh, when that grain tank gets full or when we're at a place where we need to be able to or we can be able to dump it, we put it into a truck or a wagon, or in some cases, this grain cart, um, which we dump it into this grain cart and then we can haul, use that to haul to a truck or a wagon as well. Um, and then we haul it to our bins, or we haul it to the ethanol plant. Um, that's up here. There's our bins that are up here. These are grain bins where we can store our corn or our soybeans in these metal bins. How many seeds do you um, put in the planter? How many seeds in the planter? How many seeds in the planter? So um, we can probably put enough corn in the planter to plant maybe 30 acres at a time. Um, and so if 30 acres times 33,000 seeds uh, would take, yeah, I think that'd be about, uh, that'd certainly be in the millions, several millions, whatever that math is. You can do that math here. <laughs> 30 acres and 33,000 seeds, so a lot. Thank you. How many corns are there in the planter? Well, yeah. how, how many, many kernels of corn? Or yeah. How many kernels of corn and how many rows can it harvest? Okay, so that's the, about the scope. The, uh, the planter has 12 rows on it. 
the combine has six rows on it. Um, the planter itself will put in, as we said, about 30 acres worth times 33,000 seeds. If we're putting soybeans in there, we're maybe putting in uh, um, uh, 20 acres worth of soybeans at 140,000 seeds. So um, it will plant as you're going through the field that, and, and I probably fill that planter uh, 10 times, 12 times um, in a spring. Uh, to be able to get all the ground that I have planted. And how many ears of corn per stalk? How many ears of corn per stalk? We have generally one ear of corn. You, you have occasionally a few stalks that don't have much of an ear of corn, and occasionally a few stalks in a year like this where it's a very good production year that may have a small second ear as well of corn. But generally one ear on each ear. You can see there's a lot of kernels, maybe up to four or five hundred or even more kernel, kernels um, on the ear of corn. And uh, that's what it looks like inside. Um, so you see that it, 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 each, each ear will have rows of kernels. We call these rows of kernels. Um, and the rows will be different on different ears. But it's interesting, you know, always be an even number. It won't be an odd number. You'll have 14 rows or 12 rows or 16 rows or maybe, maybe even 18 rows or more, but, but it will always be even. It won't be an odd number of rows.